today I've got a video in mind that I think is just silly and honestly I've thought it's silly for the last 20 years that I've been trout fishing and that is fishing with ham and eggs I've always thought when hearing the old timers talking I'm catching them crazy on ham and eggs I thought that was the silliest thing but in this video I want to share a little bit of our Virginia crazy with you wherever you may be so what is ham and eggs well I'll tell you ham and eggs are these right here it's corn and night crawlers obviously the corn is the eggs and the night crawler is the ham now in just a second I'm going to show you guys how to rig this up and show you how to present ham and eggs to trout on a trout stream so stick around let's get everything rigged up and let's get started important to throw some old school stuff right here I've got some eagle claw size 4 hooks these are snailed hooks pre tied up with some monofilament line and this is the exact same hooks that the old timers have used for years to catch fish on ham and eggs here in Virginia so let's go ahead and get one tied on the rig all set up here it's just a simple split shot weight and our hook here and in this video I'm going to be using a float traditionally speaking the old timers just use it just like this and they would cast it out and let it set on the bottom but I will be drifting just to cover water and try to catch more fish now how do you rig this up you take your bait holding hook it's very important that it is a bait holding hook and a J style hook and you take one kernel of corn being your eggs and you hook it long ways just like that and you run it all the way up to where it's covering the eye of the hook and then you simply take a little pinch of night crawler about that much and you run it up on your hook as well give him a couple turns there just to hold him on and then there you go that right there is ham and eggs that's the old school technique that's been used here in my area for years it's a saying that i've always thought is silly but has always caught me fish as well as others so without any further ado let's put these ham and eggs in this creek and let's see if we can catch us a great old big trout Got him on the old ham and eggs, big and seen him come up there and he had to have it. Oh, let's get down here where we can net him. I seen him come up and I put it right by him and he had to have it. Ooh, drag puller. Oh yeah. got some fight about him yes he does mmm big in let's get him in the net oh we got him heck yes all right looks like we lost our ham and our eggs I thought I seen some night crawler, but he must have shook it off. Heck yeah, biggest fish I've caught in a while right there on the ham and eggs. You've got to love it. An absolute stud right there. Heck yes. Here in the curve, which is probably right here in this spot, and then he dropped two loads down yonder. There he is. What the heck is this? A little wild one little wild one like the old ham and eggs yes he did yeah it's a beautiful little rainbow beautiful fish he liked the old ham and eggs yep ham and eggs it's night crawlers and corn ain't that the silliest thing you ever heard look at that little beauty let's go ahead and go to my more modern version of the ham and eggs and that would be the pinch crawlers and the potsky yellow jackets all you do exact same thing yellow jacket on top gulp uh, pinch crawler below it all right guys i took off the old school hook and weight um, with the new school technique they just weren't really taking it so i popped on a trout magnet a salmon egg and our pinch crawler and we're just going to see if the trout magnet uh weighted jig head hook is going to help us catch a fish with this new age technique however the old the old technique with the old snailed hook it worked just fine for the first two fish
got him. Get out of there. Man, he is up in the weeds right here. Oh. Alright, now we can fight him some. Let's head on down here. Heck yeah. I did have to put on a trout magnet jig head. The uh the buoyancy of the pinch crawler with the monofilament line on the snailed hook was just causing too many issues. The bait wasn't getting down good enough to do the new school ham and eggs technique. But with the trout magnet jig hook, it was absolutely no problem. I seen this big girl come over. I was actually about to grab up my stuff and head to a new hole. And I seen her flash out of the corner of my eye. And then when I looked, I noticed the bobber was down. And we got her. An old big one right here. On the new school ham and eggs, she had to have it. All right, she's already popped off. And right there would be the fish. Gorgeous fish right there. Absolutely gorgeous. And she took the new school ham and eggs. I tell you guys, if you guys use any weird techniques that's been named a funny name in your area, leave me a comment down below and let me know. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, until next time, boys and girls, be safe and tight lines.